Hey, 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 you guys. Welcome back to today's video. And we are gonna be talking all about how you can make your home smell good. Just using some things that I've been loving lately and I want to share them with you guys. Welcome to everybody that is new. Welcome back. If you an oldie but a goodie, listen, if you have not already subscribed, I am Latursa and on this channel, we talk a lot about self-care, hygiene, um, inspiration, and life advice. So if any of those little things intrigue your little minds, make sure you stick around, hit that red subscribe button, like, comment, and share this video. It does help me out tremendously. So let's jump right into it, shall we? All right, so the first thing I'm going to talk about, ooh, I'm not going in any particular order. So, um... If you have any type of dryer sheets, these are great value and these are original clean. These are the, they smell citrusy to me, but I don't know. It's a hundred and dryer sheets and they smell really good. So what I like to do throughout the week um, is I take a dryer sheet and I'm gonna try to put a little video right here beside so you can see how I do it. I take video, take uh, the dryer sheet and wipe down my sofa, my love seat, you know, my chairs at my dining table. I even take sometimes my pillows and I um just refresh, you know, sometimes, you know, when you live in your house, you, your house gonna have a scent. So I like to have my stuff smelling fresh. Now I do live in my house, so it ain't smelling like a mansion or nothing like that, but it smells fresh. Except for the days that I cook, because y'all know whatever you cook, your house going to smell like, especially when you live in an apartment. But yeah, just take your dryer sheets. Let me get this down so y'all can see. Okay, so just take the dryer sheet and go over your pillow, your sofas, or whatever. And it just gives it a little freshen up. It just gives it a little fresh um, up um, throughout the house. You can do this on your pillows on your bed. You can do this, like I said, on your sofa, love seat. If you have drapes in your house, you can do this, you know, take this dryer sheet and just spray it, you know, wipe it down, give it a fresh scent. And then, um, um, in the walls lately, I've been loving these air wicks clean linen scent y'all know i told you sometimes i take a break from my fruity scents and so clean linen has been the plug-ins that i got throughout the house so it smells like clean linen um throughout the house and then next is y'all know i be doing the most <laughs> so i found some car air freshener clean linen and what i do with these or sometimes i i have these i take these and i plug them in my vents and when the heat and air is on you guys, it have your house, your place smelling so good. I try. I started doing this when I was a, a maid in a hotel. And my room was so small. And with me and two kids, you know, it would get stuffy in there. So I would take my dryer sheets and stuff them in the vent in the um, air conditioner. And when I tell y'all that smell have the whole room smelling good. So I take these air fresheners that you use in your car. And I put them in my vents, you know up in my house. Like I said, I'm gonna try to get a video of me putting them up so y'all can see them. But I put these not only in my car, but I put these in my vents throughout my house and it keeps my house smelling so good. I put like two in the living room cause it's such a big space. So these are really, really, really nice. Good, you guys. Um, so use that. And then for my closet space, what I use is these air purifying bag. It keeps the moisture out of your closet. And I, the little hook, I took it down, I left it. But you hang these up in your closet, throughout your closet, and it'll keep the moisture out. So you know how you have those closet airtight and that smell of when it feel like it's packed down and all that good stuff? These, and I got these from Amazon, so I'm gonna leave the link to them below. But you put these, hang these up in your closet and it'll draw the moisture out. Um, draw the moisture out of your um, closet space. And then these right here, y'all know I love my scent booster and I swear I use these things everywhere. I got these little sachet bags from Amazon. It's a hundred in a pack. And I put these throughout up and down in between my sofa love seat. I take the pillows out and drop these over in there. And so it just gives it a refresh, just smelling it. It smells so good. I even put some of these up under my mattress. I put them in my underwear drawer. I put them all through. These are all throughout the house. Um, my kids say I would do, be doing the most, so I don't have a lot like I want in my kids' room because they always saying I be doing the most. But in my room, the kitchen, living room, that kind of stuff, 
And just a little secret, when they go to sleep, I do go in there and put some of these in they, they underwear and panty drawers and stuff. Yeah, I do. I, you know I'm that mom. When they out of sight, out of mind, they think mommy ain't paying attention. So I go in there and I put this. Like I said, you could put these in your drawers. Um, you could put these. Um, you could even put these under your seats in your car to make your your car smell good. Um, put this in the glove department. And then for my bathroom, the toilet, um, when I clean it, I love to use these Lysol things. Every time you flush, it gives that lemon fresh. They got different scents. So I'm, I got the lemon this time. I had another scent, I think lavender last time. But this is the one I got now. And I just cleaned my bathroom up earlier today. So I got one of these in my bathroom. And when baby girl cleans their bathroom up, she'll put one of these in their bathroom. And then to clean your garbage disposable and trash can. Y'all know them two get dirty the most. And I'm gonna put a little short video of me doing it here. But I use good old faithful baking soda and um, vinegar. And I let that run in my garbage disposable uh, with some ice and let it break up all that stuff that's in the garbage disposable. And then take your flashlight and go through there and see if there's any gunk that stuck up in there or some fuel or something but let it run for about 20 minutes with this hot water baking soda and vinegar and let it sit and then run your garbage disposal then do it again do it twice and then the third time you're gonna do a whole bunch of ice because that's gonna clear up any, any of that gunk nasty stuff up in there and then once you're done with that i always finish it off with some kind of uh, essential oil and i've been loving this citrus by uplift I sprinkle some things in there and just to freshen it up. And if you're out of your essential oils and you got lemons, chop you up some lemons real fun, real small because you don't want it to clog up your garbage disposal. And drop those lemon peels or orange peels in there and it'll make your garbage disposal smell fresh. I do that at least twice a week because that garbage disposal. And in your trash can, I just take whatever dishwasher liquid that I have and I take that along with the vinegar and baking soda and wash my trash can out really good. And then once I'm done, I take the essential oil and put it on cotton balls. I'm going to show you in the video right here. I put it on cotton balls and put it at the bottom of the trash can. Then I put my trash can in there. And then I throw some of these scent boosters in the bottom of it. So that way, when you throw a trash over in there, you'll get a whiff of something fresh. Because y'all know trash stinks. It just does. It just does. And then the last and final tip is when you're in the shower and you have a brain freeze and you just feel like stuff just bombarding your mind and all that good stuff. When you're taking a shower, I put drops of um, sandalwood, pure essential oil in my shower. When I tell y'all, it makes your mood smit. It makes you feel a whole lot better because when your brain freeze and you're trying to do a lot of stuff, especially like me, a content creator and I'm a working full time mom. Um, I'm going to tell you what this sandalwood is good for. Um, hold on. See, it says, write it on your heart that every day is the best of the year. It's good for when you have having ideals and you want to reach your goals, but you have so much on your brain. This kind of just like restart everything. Because, you know, when you get bombarded with a bunch of ideas like I do, sometimes you just can't get them out fast enough. So when you're in the shower, just pour you a couple of drops. And I'm telling you, it'll open your senses up. It'll change your whole mood. So that is my little up-to-date tips on how to keep your home smell good. Leave me a comment below and let me know um, some things you do around the house to keep your house refreshed, smell good. All that. I got some more tricks, but I didn't want to make this video too, too long. So stay tuned for a part two because y'all know I love testing stuff out. And when I learn new stuff, I love to share with you sunshine. So make sure you comment below and let me know if you've used any of these hacks. Also, make sure you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, you guys. It does help me out a tremendous a lot so subscribe if you haven't already because we have fun over here god bless and i'll see you in my next video Mwah.